Good morning beautiful souls, it's Shields here. Happy Thursday to you, it's Thursday the 24th of June 2021. Uh, hope you're having a good week so far. Thank you all for, for the um, watching, thank you for connecting and um, let's see what messages the lovely angels have for you today. So let's dive in with these beautiful cards. Okay, let's see what is coming out straight away. Okay, so we've got time to go. Time to go. Look at the lovely energy there, the beautiful colours. And he's shining his torch ahead, making sure that he knows which way he's going. So the message on this card is, the sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life. And know that the sun will always rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginnings. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. So time to go. Keep moving forward, letting go of the past. But there's no harm in reflecting on the past. You know, we, we create memories for that reason, don't we? To look back on good memories and to put a smile on our face but going forward is the way you know keep looking at what's coming up for you what's around the next corner for you make sure that you're lighting your path and lighting the heart within you knowing that you're doing everything for the greatest and highest of your of yourself and the angels and the universe will be guiding you to doing what's best for you there will be bumps in the road sometimes because there's some learning um, patterns that we need to have so that we understand the things that don't make our heart sing and to make sure that we continue to follow those that do make our heart sing and feel, feel the passion inside. So keep moving forward with love and light. Okay, beautiful card. I don't even remember having that card before, so that's quite nice. So let's see what message we have got from the angelic tarot cards. Thank you, angel spirits and guides. Thank you for giving the message for everybody that's um, that's watching. And as I said again, thank you for connecting. And for all of those here on, oh, that wanted to come. All oh, two have come out. Mm. Okay, these wanted to come out straight away. So for June the twenty fourth. So we have got the two of a fire that has come out and we've also got the page of fire. So again, the fire, having that passion within you. The message from the two of fire is, you've come into your own, there's new partnerships or contracts um, being dealt with and continue to move forward. Okay, definite signs there, isn't there? So even though this partnership, it looks like they're a bit of a standstill, but they're obviously contemplating which way they're going to go forward. But knowing that this partnership will work, um, will work together beautifully. And remember, if there are contracts that are being put forward to you, make sure you read them carefully before you sign them. Make sure that you're feeling what's written down is good for your higher self. Don't do anything that you shouldn't be doing. Don't be coerced into doing anything that you may later regret doing, regret signing. So just make sure you are 100% in what it is that you need to move forward with. Okay, so the page of fire. Um, this is the card here. Beautiful energy again. We've got dragon energy there. We had dragon energy in the two of fire as well. And the message for this card is... News of an exciting new endeavour. Use your originality and your ingenuity. Tough words to say sometimes. <laughs> so, okay, it's so the page of fire. News of an exciting new endeavour. So, if you've got the new endeavour coming forward, but you've got the contracts that you need to sign, just make sure that it is definitely for your highest good. Fantastic, lovely cards. I hope that they resonate with you. So let's move on to the daily teachings and today's daily teachings is we speak learnedly of the law of gravitation but ignore that equally wonderful manifestation, the law of attraction in the thought world 
we are familiar with that wonderful manifestation of law which draws and holds together the atoms of which matter is composed. We recognise the power of the law that attracts bodies to the earth, that holds the circling worlds in their places. But we close our eyes to the mighty law that draws to us the things we desire or fear, that makes our, or mars our lives. Okay, so let me just read that quote again. The mighty law that draws to us the things we desire or fear, that makes or mars our lives. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. So when we come to see that thought is a force, a manifestation of energy, having a magnet-like power of attraction, we will begin to understand the why and wherefore of many things that have heretofore seemed dark to us. And this was written by William Walker Atkinson. Um, and he was um, obviously famous for thought vibration and lived from 1862 to 1932. Okay, I hope that makes sense. You might have to rewind and listen to that again. It's quite a complex quote from him, from dear William, bless him. Okay, so let's see what mantra you can say to yourself today if things start to get on top of you or some little negative thoughts might be entering your mind from the happiness mantras. So I will see what card comes out. Okay. I choose to celebrate the successes of my loved ones as if they were my own. Oh, how beautiful. Yes, remember to celebrate all um, successes of other people and not just of yourself. Be proud of others, congratulate them, show them how um, appreciative you are of them as well. And if they've worked very hard for what they've got, then there's nothing better than to celebrate their wins as well. So, fantastic. So you can have that mantra. I choose to celebrate the successes of my loved ones as if they were my own. Fantastic, magical cards. Well, my lovelies, my beautiful souls, I hope you've enjoyed the messages for today and enjoy the rest of your, your Thursday, your Thursday. <laughs> and with that, as always, I'll leave you with some lovely peace, love, namaste. Bye for now.